Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into another video. Today's video is going to be basically an update to the previous video of how to make gold. Um, there's been a couple of different changes since la last video. And the first video you guys loved it, apparently, or a lot of people needed it. So I'm actually glad I helped a few of you guys. So... I'm going to do this second version, and in this second version, we're going to be updating the things that are different. I'm going to try to make it a little bit faster and easier to understand, and I'm also going to be talking about the newest features that are coming. As of right now, they're not available yet, but after this video has been published for a while, you probably already have seen them, you probably already know what they are, so it's probably going to be easy for you to, to see. So, first things that I want to point out. If you're on Switch, you will not have the tutorial. The tutorial is literally the first thing that it's asked if you want to do, do it. The reason why? Because it's part of this, the uh, awards, you know, the little missions. Well trained, complete the Paladin tutorial and you'll gain 25,000 gold. Alright, so this is a must do. Unfortunately on Switch, you don't have that, so you guys are going to have to suffer a little bit more, but hey. Either way, uh, it's all fine. There's a plenty of different ways to get gold, so let's get right into it, okay? Since I'm already talking about the tutorial and the awards, this is your first thing. Come in here into the awards, okay? Go into profile, go into the awards, and just check out what missions is there to do. Some of them are so easy to do. Unfortunately, there's a couple of them that will not be working, like, for example, get a daily reward seven days in a row. I do not know if they updated this to just do like maybe like the quests and you get them because they you know they took away the daily rewards so I really don't know if some of these missions will work. I also have a video on the last men standing or whatever it is. Yeah last one standing so it's another 1000 gold. I know it doesn't seem that much but everything just sums up. The last one standing thing I have a video on that. Go into my channel search for last one standing or a award or achievement or whatever and you should be able to find it i explained there how to do it i did it so should be easy for you guys to try to do it as well all right so you have the words you do the tutorial now what else what else will allow you to get more coins first thing and the easiest one is the quest daily quests i've already done mine but you guys could come here you can rotate one of them every day do the quests you can do these quests on training as well you do every single quest if there's one of them that it's a little bit too hard or too time consuming just switch it up and you shall still be do it if you do this every day you're gonna get a lot of gold now on to the second thing before you go and do any extra thing that there's here one amazing way to get more gold is by buying the event pass when you put it here at your mouse you'll see that i bought it and it says 50 percent extra to all xp and gold earned per match so automatically you gain a lot more gold by having the event pass. If you have the event pass from day one, this means that during that entire time, you're gonna be doing a lot more gold. So you definitely wanna buy the event pass. But not just that, inside of the event pass itself, if you go and search it around, usually on the event pass itself, there should be like rewards of gold for free. You don't even need to buy the event pass. I still recommend you to do it. Like for example, there's a reward here that you can only get if you buy it, it's not free. Um, but you'll be able to still, if you cannot buy the event pass, you'll still have some rewards of gold around here. Just search it up and try to do them as fast as possible. With the event pass, however, you got another thing which is called the Trials of the Realm. These little things here that unlock every week, right? And every single one of them has three different uh, little sets of missions. Um, there are a couple of them that have gold. So if you search it around, like for example, on this event pass, you got it here on the abyss part and you have to do these missions right here and you'll get 60,000 gold that's enough for one champion that seems pretty good to me oh there's another one here on warriors watch another 60,000 it really depends on every event pass this is also one of the changes compared to my previous video uh we had a battle pass back then it was a little bit different um uh, but there you go you got that so pretty simple on that now Another extra booster that we can get is the party booster. If you play with one person, you only need one person, you can have a five stack, it will still not do any change because um, you will need only one person for this booster and having more people will not change it. So it will be, always be the same, which is 10%. So just playing with one person will boost your, your gold and XP for 10%. That may not look like it, but in roughly 10 matches, you get basically a free full match worthy of gold. 
I'd say. I mean, that makes pretty sense to me, right? So there you go. That's uh, Those are the simple things. Now let's talk about the cues, because a lot of people still don't know about this. As if you can see here, there's this thing here saying daily queue bonus. As you can see, on top of my daily queues, there's nothing. But if you go into training, there is. This is what it should be here. Why is it not there? Because I already completed them. So I already did that. I also tried to do a mission, so I came in here and did two, tri two TDMs, and so that is already done as well. So basically, what you want to do is you want to do two TDMs, two onslaughts, two sieges, and you'll get like roughly 900 extra gold for this. And then go into training as well and do two TDMs, two onslaughts, and two sieges of training, obviously. From then on, I think you can continue to basically just queue here on competitive. If you're a person who plays a lot of competitive, you can just come in here and do your daily queues of a comp competitive. I don't know how many you can do. I'm pretty sure that you can, like, you know, after you've done all these queues and the training queues, I mean, just keep going for competitive. Why not? I mean, what's wrong with that, right? Um, but only if you want more fast matches, more gold, etc., maybe TDMs and onslaughts will be your thing. But uh, make sure at least you try to play like one or two ranked matches per day just to make sure that gold boost is there. Um, and then, after that is all done, uh, we have some more ways of earning gold. One of them, which I'm going to grab a picture really quick here, is this one. Earn bounty coins. Now, this button is like this, but according to what I've heard, uh, this doesn't exist yet. It will be out on day 21 with the patch of the Genlock. If you're seeing this a little bit earlier, yes, you're not going to be able to see this. I do not know why some people will have this and others won't. I'm guessing it's based on country. So, unfortunate. Uh, but then after having this, basically, if you watch an ad, you press it, you watch an ad, you can do this like, what, five times a day or something. Uh, you're going to be also able to get some gold drops as well. All right. So there you go. That's another another extra thing, an extra feature that's coming out. The It says bounty, po bounty coins, but I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be like earned rewards by watching ads or whatever. All right. So we've already talked about the boosters from both the event pass and the party. Doing the event pass, buying it, doing the trials of the realm, doing all your daily quests. Doing all your awards here as much as possible. Play all the different cues on both casuals and trainings and even then competitives. Okay? And then finally, uh, probably one of the most important ones, it is the referral system. Now, I'm not going to fully explain the referral system. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. I can do a video of, of completely of the referral system and even give you a couple tips on how to do it better. But all you need to know is that the referral system is something that you can press on party or just social and then go into the final tab here, referral, right? What's going to happen is you're going to have the send referral or referred friends. These are the people who have been referred to me, used my link. Basically, you give a link to somebody, they create an account from that link and then by playing together or them just playing normally, progressing through their levels, you and this person will gain gold which is important, all right, for both a new player and as an old player. So if you're starting now and if you do not refer to anybody, if you want somebody to refer, you guys can refer to me. I'm going to help you out, all right? You can actually, I'm, it's not for me to get more rewards, but it's more to, uh, as you, while you're progressing through, you'll still get whatever, you know, whatever gold is here because this is always good. And uh, if we end up playing together, you'll be able even to get this this skin here and some crystals as well. Seems good to me. All right. Also, if you have um, if you're referring, in you have multiple different people who've used the referral link and they have reached level 15. Every single one of them, you will collect also some more stuff. So as long as you have like four different friends or maybe four different accounts um that have used your referral account link and reach level 15 then you'll start having all of these okay then obviously if you want to have some crystals as well go for five fan friends and 10 10 friends and then also play together etc now how do you do this really really fast okay you go into my.hirestudios.com, make sure you connect your Hyrus account. If you don't have a Hyrus account, this is the perfect timing for you to create it. And then you want to go into where it says um, linked accounts. Make sure you linked your 
whatever platform account you're playing in but after all of that is done and then if you have everything connected go into this the account info make uh you know main page and then there's this button refer a friend press that button this will show up i'm gonna leave this link here in the description of the video in case you have nobody to refer to in case you want to create your account okay and then you'll have your own referral link which you can then if like if you have friends in the future that will want to play the game just give them your referral link and they can start off with that and you gain rewards and they gain rewards so that's perfect and uh you can also just type like the email directly of whoever your friend is that you want to start playing through your referral link and it will send them an email basically with this so basically you just copy this link if you're talking on discord just give them and they'll can create the account through that link and you'll basically start earning some stuff so i'm going to leave my link in the description feel free to, if you don't have anybody else to refer to to start off your account if you're starting off now um to use my link it'll be perfectly fine should be working as well for both you and me and then from then on you just start collecting gold there you go you start collecting all of these rewards and so will your friends okay so for example here one of my referral accounts is already level 96 i already have 10 friends level 15 who use my referral link so i got all of that i also have 26 play time of oh this also works with multiple different friends so if you have like three different friends who uh, used your referral link and or vice versa uh you use their referral link and uh you start playing in a party together um it'll it'll start counting every hour it independently if you're playing like you play now with one friend then you play with the other it doesn't matter it will all stack up so it's fine okay you'll start earning this gold this gold here this gold there and then you can try to go for the crystals as well because why not it's free crystals let's go all right so like just a quick final showdown real quick buy the event pass progress through the event pass do every trials of the round that has gold Play with one person in your party at least minimum. Do all your quests, do your, all your awards, do all the referral systems and do all the daily queues on every single queue that exists. And you'll start making so much gold that you'll just have too many and you won't even know what the hell do you want to do with it. Because I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm trying to go for the 5 million to buy the title of the 5 million gold and then I'm going for the 1 million titles. But there's a lot of people who just like don't care about that obviously. But they still need that gold to buy champions. Now, one final thing is that if you go into DLCs or whatever, there's three different DLCs you can buy to get the champions. Um, but this is just a way of how to earn gold without having to buy those. I honestly, if I didn't have, like, if I didn't bought the Founders Pack back in the day because I wanted the horse and the skin for Fernando, the voice packs, etc., if I didn't buy that, I. If I did all of these tips that I was telling you today, I wouldn't need it. I wouldn't need to have the Founders back. I wouldn't need to have any of the DLCs that they they provide to you. Just nothing. Because the amount of gold you do by doing all these little things every single day, it will give you so much gold, you'll get all your champions in less than a month. That's all I got to say for you guys. So, happy grinding. Hope you guys do a ton of gold. And I'll see you guys on the next video.